Okay, so in example 45, they're asking us to test the senatorial candidate's claim. So they say test the senatorial candidate's claim, so it indicates a hypothesis test. And then from there, the claim above talks about the idea that most of the people in the country feel they are worse off today. Most of the people indicates a proportion is involved in the problem. So here we're talking about more than 50%. So we have that information. Let's go ahead and begin to start the problem with that initial idea in mind. So we're going to have this claim that is going to say the proportion or rho is greater than 0 0.50. From the claim we can always get our HO and our HA. Looking at the symbol involved in the claim we can see it's a greater than symbol. That means the claim and HA are the same here. And that means for HO we will have the opposite of greater than which is less than or equal to 0 0.50, the same value. For the data step we're going to fill in the following variables. We always need to know n. We'll need to know p hat. p hat can sometimes be defined as x over n. Remember that. Then we're going to have a hypothesized proportion. That's p naught and a complement to that, which is q naught. And lastly, we'll always have an alpha in the problem. Now, we can fill in p naught. That just comes from h o. has the same subscript, right? So h sub 0. That will give you 0.50. We'll have the same for q naught because that's 1 minus p naught. So that's going to be 0 0.50 for this value as well. Remember, these two have to add up to 100%. Now, for the n and alpha and p hat, we're going to go to the data in the problem itself. So if we look at this problem here, it says that a poll of 500 people were taken. So that's the poll, and so that means that's your n. And then they tell us that that poll revealed that 255 of the people felt they were worse off today than two years ago. So if you think about this, they're not giving us percent here. They're giving us a number of people that feel this way, right? So we're going to have to take that number of people and divide it by the total to produce the sample percentage. This problem is about the percent of people they feel they're worse off today. Well, this study says that 255 out of 500 feel that way that they are worse off today than they were two years ago. So this is going to be x, the number of subjects having the trait we're interested in. In this case, we're interested in how many people feel they are worse off today. That's 255 divided by the total, and that gives us the p hat. And then notice it's a 10% significance level. So let's go ahead and write all that information down. So starting with the idea related to n, it's 500. And x here was 255, while n was 500. And if you divide those two values, you get 0 0.51. All right, and then alpha, they say, is 10%. So there it is, 0 0.10. If you take that data then and use it in the test stat formula, you'll get a z test stat formula. Remember, the formula is p hat minus rho naught divided by the square root of p naught times q naught over n. So our p hat here is uh, 0 0.51 minus 0 0.50 divided by square root of 0 0.50 times 0 0.50 divided by n, which is 500. All right, let's work that out in our calculator. Let's plug that into the calculator and see what we get. So we're going to have for the top part, open parenthesis, 0 0.51. 0.51 minus 0 0.50. Of course, that's going to give you the difference 0 0.01. You'll divide that by the square root. And the square root here will be 0.5 times 0.5. Don't need any extra parentheses there. Just do 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. Divided by 500. Close it up and hit enter. When you're done, you get the answer 0 0.45. 0 0.45. So our answer becomes 0 0.45. Okay, so now you have your test stat. Let's draw a bell curve and find our critical value. So our critical value will depend upon the type of test we're conducting. Here it's a right-tailed test. And the idea that 
alpha has to be in that tail. So 0 0.10. So 10% area in the tail. Let's go to our t-chart and look up 10% in one tail. 10% in one tail. So here's our t-table and we have area in one tail. Let's go over until we see 10% there. So in the rightmost column we have 10% in one tail. Let's go straight to the bottom then to see what the critical z value is. So all the way to the bottom, the last number in this table is a z value and that number is 1.282. 1.282. Okay, so let's put that number into our table. So 1.282. So that's in our drawing and we're going to take our test stat and plot it on the curve. Now that test stat would land here, right? 0 0.45, that Z test stat would land between 0 and 1.2. So we're going to say that indicates that we should not reject. So do not reject HO because remember this is our, our do not reject region, right? Do not reject HO. And over here is the reject HO. So we're in the do not reject side of things. That means we do not support HA. So do not support HA. Now take a look at our claim. Our claim here is the same as HA. So we better do our wording according to this. We better say that we don't support the claim. So we do not support the claim that the majority of people feel they are worse off today than they were two years ago.